Hi everyone, Charlotte here from New Zealand Shores. Today I'm just bouncing in with a quick chat around the straight to residency application and the common issues we're seeing with people who are attempting to undertake those applications themselves and getting caught up partway through the process. So the straight to residence application has been with us for almost a year now and nine times out of 10 it's a fabulous option for people who are eligible but there still are a few things to be aware of that people are getting caught out just because they don't quite know the policy um, or perhaps they just aren't quite aware of how a residence application processes differently to that of a work visa. So the first thing we're seeing um, quite regularly with people coming back to us partway through that process is their eligibility. So it seems quite self-explanatory but you do need to check that you are actually eligible for the straight to residence application. So you may have a job offer in an occupation which is listed on this green list tier one, so it allows you to apply for that straight to residence application, but you do still have to meet that eligibility criteria word for word. So in some cases that may mean you need an occupational registration, or you may need to have a certain salary threshold, or you may need to have a certain qualification. So registration and salary are two things that are really easy to pick up yourselves. The third one where people are starting to get a bit caught out is those qualifications. So there are some instances where you may need to have your qualification assessed by the New Zealand Qualifications Authority or NZQA as we call them for short. And that is in an instant where one, your qualification may not be um, stipulated as automatically recognised by Immigration New Zealand. Or two, if it says you need to have a certain uh, credits criteria, so it may say you need a master's degree with the equivalent of X amount of credits. In those situations, you need to have that qualification assessed by NZQA. Otherwise, you don't actually meet that criteria and immigration, you know, may decline that application. So it's really important you get that right from the outset. NZQA assessments at the moment are taking approximately four months. So it's just something to be aware of um, that if you are in that situation and your employer is not willing to wait, you may need to look at other options such as applying for work visas. New Zealand Shores can look at your qualifications and your job offer and your CV and say, yes, this is what you need to do for that qualification. And that may be, it may be an NZQA assessment or it may be fine. So we can check that out for you and provide some guidance in that space. The second thing we're seeing people get caught out on is English language tests. So effectively, unless you are from the US, the UK, Canada, or the Republic of Ireland, um, or you have a recognised qualification from the US, the UK, Canada, the Republic of Ireland, Australia, or New Zealand, you will need to do an English language test. So even if you are perhaps a nurse or a doctor um, who has registration with your appropriate body in New Zealand, and they have said, great, you can come and practice your profession here, you still will need that English language test. And those tests can take... Um, generally about at least two to four weeks to get a booking. So it is something you need to be aware of from the outset. Once again, we can check and say, perhaps, yes, you've got a qualification that means that you are um, eligible without that test, or uh, you're from a country where that test is mandatory. Immigration New Zealand will not accept your qualification having been studied in English or you having worked in an English language environment as a substitute for that English language test. So I've actually had a several people um, come to me recently in that exact situation who's maybe from a country that's not on that list. They say, well, actually, I've been working in the UK for X number of years, surely that's enough to say speak English. Um, theoretically, yes, obviously it is, but in immigration's eyes, they still need that English language test. So that is one thing to be aware of. The other issue we are seeing is people with health concerns. So in some situations, um, your medical may be automatically triggered for manual assessment by the health team. And that can take roughly about four weeks for them to actually go through that process. So the health team are independent from the rest of Immigration New Zealand. They're a panel of doctors who look at your medical and they will say, yep, great, actually your health's fine. Um, in which case your medical will pass through without any issues. Or they may say, well, actually you've got this condition, we need more information. If more information is requested, they will give you a certain amount of time to provide that. Once you've provided that, it then goes back into queue to be assessed by the medical assessor. Depending on how many times they come back and forth um, asking for more information, it can take approximately up to six months is the worst case I've seen for someone still waiting for that straight to residency to process. So this is another thing that we can look at and say, you might say, right, I've got 
X health condition, and then we say, right, that's likely to trigger assessment, which could take this long. Therefore, once again, the best option may be to apply for a temporary visa in order to have you arriving into New Zealand as soon as you can. And then that straight to residency can just keep processing in the background while it goes through its process. We can also look at health conditions and say, yes, you're still likely to get a visa or no, this is going to cause issues. And these are the documents which you're going to need. And we can do that right from the outset of your process. So we can actually save you time in that space. Um, because if we submit an application with information that we know immigration are going to request anyway, it will save you time. And our team have experience in that space. We um, we know we know what's going to cause um, those requests to come, so we can help you preempt that, which is really important. The other thing which is taking um, a little bit longer to process is what's called a national security check. So there are people from parts of Africa, Asia, which do um, require those national security checks, and they are done by a third party. So they are not done by Immigration New Zealand. Immigration New Zealand contract those out to other people. There's a few things that immigration won't tell you about a national security check. So they won't tell you when it was requested. They can't tell you how long it's going to take um, and they won't tell you who's doing it. So there's absolutely no way of speeding up that process. That is another thing that worst case could take up to six months to process, in which case if your employer wants you here really quickly, then it is more beneficial to go ahead and apply for those temporary visas. Temporary visas do not trigger national security checks. So you can get your temporary visa, come to New Zealand, start working. And then once you know, you're know you here and onshore, that residence application can still continue to process in the background. If you don't have any of those issues or concerns, um, your straight to residence application will process relatively quickly, like I said, roughly about four to eight weeks, um, which is in some cases similar time frame to what a work visa is taking. So it's definitely a good option if we know that it's going to sail through quickly. Um, just another word of warning, it is easier for us to take care of your application from the outset than it is for us to step in partway through. We can, of course, pick the process up wherever you're ready for us to. Um, so if you submit yourself and run into issues, we can um, definitely jump in partway and help you with that. But if you get us on board right from the outset, we can, one, help mitigate any of those concerns we've talked about. And two, we can give you a realistic time frame for how long that is going to take to process. So we can have you prepared. You will know how long it's going to take. You won't start getting stressed out through the process. And we can also assist with applying for those temporary visas, the work or student visas to get you and your family here as quickly as possible and starting your new life in New Zealand. Please feel free to reach out to us. Um, we are more than happy to have a chat to you. You can contact us through our website, which is dropped below, um, or you can email info at newzealandshores.com and one of our wonderful advisors will be in touch um, with some more information about how we can help. We look forward to hearing from you. Thanks, guys. Have a great week.